Thanks for listening to the Earlham College Podcast. On today's episode, we're talking about the 24-hour theater project and how you can get involved. I'm going to set the scene for you. Maybe you're interested in theater, but you don't have the time for it. You took a theater class in high school for that easy humanities credit, and you walk up to that audition list on week three of college, and then you stop. You think, geez, I'm no theater major or minor, and between my 17 credits, creating a social life for myself, and discovering my inner dreams and desires that will lead me to the grad school of my dreams and pave a fulfilling and successful future for me and my seven children, I don't think I have the time to commit to a play for a whole semester. Then you turn and walk away, wondering how it could have been. Whoa, slow down there, buddy. First off, who are you for worrying about grad school already? Save all that business for the upperclassmen. And second off, there is a way you can get involved in a fun, informal, one-day commitment-only theater project here at Earlham. The 24-hour theater project has nearly arrived, folks, and I have three special guests with me here today to provide more details on that. Would you all like to introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Caitlin Cafiero. I'm a senior theater and HDSR major. That's human development and social relations for those of you following along at home. My pronouns are she, her and I am one of the conveners of Earlham Theater Company, or ETC. Thank you very much for joining us here, Caitlin. I'm Lawrence. I'm a sophomore uh, computer science major with theater arts and politics minors. I use he, him pronouns, and I've been a participant in 24 Hour for the last two semesters. Thank you very much for joining us, Lawrence. I'm Karis Murphy. I'm a sophomore theater and peace and global studies double major. I use she, her pronouns, and I am also a co-convener of ETC. And I'm Lucy Fitzgerald. I am a global management major and current music minor. I use she, her pronouns, and here we go. First question, what is the 24-hour theater project? Does anyone have any history on that? (laughs) I appreciate that you all looked at me. (laughs) I know that we are not the only campus to do it. It goes by a couple different names. Um, 24-hour theater project is the big one, but there's also flash theater. And Mm -hmm. one of our professors who went to Anderson University calls it something strange. Essentially, it is a creative endeavor that takes place over 24 hours. So Okay, can you break it down for us? What do we do over those 24 hours? Well, you do sleep. That is the number one question I have been asked is, Mm -hmm. do I have to be awake the whole time? And the answer is no. (laughs) That's good, sleep's important. We we encourage sleep. Mm -hmm. Um, So we gather in the studio theater at 10 p.m. on a Friday night. Okay. And then we divide up into teams of one writer, one director, and two actors. Each team then gets a set of three prompts, so they are assigned one line of dialogue that the writer has to include in their show, one prop, and one sound cue. Mm, The writer then has 12 hours to write a short one-act play. The guideline slash rule of thumb is about 10 minutes long. Mm. They have 12 hours to write their script and turn it over to the director. Mm -hmm. The director then has slightly less than 12 hours to rehearse with their actors And then at 10 p.m. on Saturday night, we perform for the campus. Okay. So, Karis, as a fellow ETC convener, who decides on the props and where do they come from? Can you talk to us about that? Ooh, so we all have decided on the props together. And the four of us together went back into the um, props and wardrobe. Stock room? Stock room. (laughs) (laughs) And we walked around through a bunch of piles of dusty... Uh, stuff, <laughs> and we we looked around, and basically just anything we thought was interesting, we snagged it. Mm-hmm. I personally, my favorite was the there was a small like bellows, oh, that we looked at, and it was we were like, yes, this is amazing, and then we opened it up, and it was rusty and gross, so we put it back on the shelf. Okay, and then what about the prompts that you give the verbal or the so the prompts come prompts. from different. Um, like, they come from different things every semester that we do 24-hour. Mm-hmm. This year, we have decided to use overheard and alone quotes. Woo! What's for... that? <laughs> Lawrence, what's that? Um, overheard at Erlum is a group on Facebook where uh, members of the Erlum community will just go and post random, generally weird stuff that they've heard other people say on campus generally out of context because they're funnier that way mm-hmm. but you can find some absolute gems of quotes and prompts from there mm-hmm. if you 
have like 30 minutes that you have nothing to do. You can just peruse it and it's wonderful. A, an example of this uh, posted 13 hours ago. Can you please look at this Bugs Bunny later hosen? Yeah, so we all <laughs> know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Another one that I remember from last night was um, mm-hmm. Can I fit a dog into a 20 gallon fish tank? <laughs> These are the real questions. One I remember that I put in there once was, um, it could be he's a polyester person. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Okay, so we know that this is a short-term commitment. How student-run is it? Completely. 100%. Okay, so students are directing and acting and writing and doing the technical stuff as well? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. We've also done all of the organizational stuff as well. Yeah. All Mm -hmm. the planning and logistics, it's Mm -hmm. all us. It is. Okay. So I've shown up at Friday, and I've written my play. It's been performed on that Saturday night. Tell us, uh, what happens after the plays? After the performance of all of the plays, a show emceed by yours truly. It's a secret MC name, so call me MC Secrets. Okay. MC (laughs) Secrets. Wonderful. So after we've performed all the shows, we have the prize ceremony. Oh. So... During the day on Saturday, there's a break between um, when each show has time to tech and get their light cues, sound cues, anything else set up, Mm -hmm. and when we perform. During that time, the ETC conveners, along with the people who are doing the tech, go to Goodwill with about $12 (laughs) Uh and find as many prizes as we can. Uh, (laughs) That budget should give you a great idea of the quality of these prizes. Uh (laughs) Um, Last year as a prize, I received like a giant plastic cell phone with buttons in the shapes of like puppies and ducks. Oh, that's wonderful. It's adorable. I have it still sitting on my dresser. Uh Uh-huh. And you can't, you can't throw these away. You can't. No. It is a rule of 24 hour prizes that you have to hold on to it until you graduate. Okay. Um, The one exception being... The, the Rainsta Horse. The Rainsta Horse. Lawrence, could you tell us about the Rainsta Horse? Um, I can kind of talk about the Rainsta Horse. So the Rainsta Horse is a statue that used to have horns that's a combination of a reindeer, a stag, and a horse. Mm-hmm. Um, it is awarded to, my understanding, to the person in 24 Hour who basically made it run, just made it be a thing. It's like, uh, it's the grand prize of yeah, yeah, exactly. the, the outstanding participant. Okay, okay. So, nice. for, for example, last semester, um, I received the reins to horse because I directed four of the five plays that semester. Oh. So, I got to hang on to the reins to horse for the remainder of spring semester and a couple weeks of this semester before these guys took it back. All right. Congratulations, Lawrence. We're all very proud of you. One of the rules of the race of the horse that we sometimes have to bend a little, it's supposed to go to someone who hasn't participated in 24 hour before. Oh, okay. Uh, so we had to bend that last semester because we didn't have any new people. So my favorite thing about prizes is it's improv. So we get everyone who participated, so writers, actors, directors, and tech on stage and then the ETC conveners take turns holding up a prize, describing it, and then asking for audience participation to decide who it should go to and for what. Okay, so like looking around me, what do I have? I've got a pair of scissors right here. So this is a beautiful pair of scissors with red handles, and it's going to go for Lawrence for being the sharpest among us. Whoa! And, and then now Lawrence would have to hold on. on to those scissors until he graduated. Yay. We're so proud of you, Lawrence. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, uh, we got one final question here. How is this project helping you with your studies at Earlham, and is theater something that you plan to do in the future? I think it's a great way to connect to the Earlham community. Mm -hmm. I've made so many friends at 24 Hour. Nothing cements a friendship like staying up all night to write a script. (laughs) True enough, true enough. I think I think everyone in this room is either is or is a prospective theater major or minor. So has 24 Hour influenced that in some way or has it just strengthened it, do you think? Just strengthened for me, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's given me an opportunity to because I've directed the two semesters I've done it, mm-hmm. but it's given me an opportunity to do something that I wouldn't necessarily be able to do because of time commitments. Like, 
I I am a computer science major. Mm-hmm. I do I do stage management right now in theater, but I don't know if I'd have the time to be able to direct because that's a lot higher of a time commitment than stage management. Yeah, for sure. Um, so it gives me an opportunity to like do that, even if it's on a smaller scale and with not much, not nearly as much thought that needs to go into it. Mm-hmm. It still allows me to do it a little bit. Yeah. Which is really helpful. Yeah. All right. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Uh, how should we end us. this? We can end with a squirrel fact. Do you all want to know a squirrel fact? I would love to know a squirrel fact. Did you yeah. all know that squirrels are great? That is a great <laughs> fact. <laughs> That's a great fact. <laughs> all right. Thank you for joining me today. Again, I'm Lucy Fitzgerald. Stay toasty. <laughs> <laughs>